QS Tony here. Just want to show you. Rob Allen trigger mechanism, tear down, polish, and safety removal. We're going to remove this evil little device here. Um, now, I want to make it clear that we are not going to be completely removing the device. We're only going to be removing portions of it. Now, this is the Rob Allen Vecta 2 trigger mechanism. Um, came out of the good old Needlefish Slayer project. But um, I uh, just want to show you how simple and easy this mechanism is. So for those of you at home who have problems and feel like they, uh, you know, a little overwhelming to take this thing apart this video is to show you how easy it really is now once you actually get the uh, mechanism out of the spear gun you're going to be left with this here you got your um that's your line release and your little sear right here and your trigger there's three components and two pins so that's five whole pieces along with this little spring here so six um now there's two other pieces seven and the safety piece and there's a uh, spring eight so eight pieces all together in this whole component and the line release actually can't be removed so you might as well call that seven since this is stationary anyways so first what we're going to do is we're going to move the trigger pin now the trigger is got a little spring under here that the safety connects to so when you remove this, this trigger is going to sort of boing out. There's a little spring here. Just retain it with your fingers. Hold it hold it down. I use a little Allen wrench to pop it out. Coax it right on out. And um, get this pin all the way. And slowly release the pressure. And the first thing I want you to do is just remove your little spring. Just remove the uh, the trigger and this spring. We're just going to keep it together, though. Um, now, once we have that out, you are going to have a larger spring, and we're just going to push this little safety button out. <clears throat> now, this little safety button right here holds this spring that this attaches to. Now not only does this adjust your trigger pull or give you your trigger pull, but when it's actually in place like this and away, it's not in safety. And when it's like this, it is in safety. So what we ultimately need to do in order to remove the safety feature is to grind this little piece down. Now you can use a bench grinder whatever I'm going to use a little knife whittle it down stain it down and give it a nice good polish so uh, bear with me here and we'll go ahead and make this uh, as quick and painless as possible Another nice little trick to keeping these two together, take one of these ends, sort of screw it in. It actually holds it in place. You'll see why later. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. <clears throat> and we're going to focus on the sear. we got the last two components in here. So what we're going to do is push this little pin out. Lay that next to each other, and this bad boy is going to drop out. Pretty, pretty simple. That's it. Now, polish. What we want to do is we want to polish the surface areas that come in contact with other components. So that's at this end, this end. We're just going to polish this whole end up, and then we're going to polish up these pins. So we've got a little metal polish here. And uh, yeah, you can 
can totally see a difference. Do it a couple times. Oh man, that thing's shining nice. Now we're just gonna polish this whole thing up just cause. This thing is shining. Beautiful. I'm gonna try to get some of the inside of this here. So let's see if we can put your finger behind it and get it nice and polished. Oh yeah. All right. Perfect. Now, a little dab of do on this. Big difference. This is a lot more, a lot cleaner. Silk is smooth. Alrighty. Now, once you got this done. <clears throat> look inside here now what actually happens is this little sear here drops against this so we need to clean inside of this here as well so let's see if I can scoop some of this up there we go Line release a little smoother. Doesn't need it. This trigger max is good to go. But you know, just make sure there's nice and easy movement here. Um, you know, no binding. You want to look inside this cassette here and see if there's any mold lines, anything like that. I mean, there's a little sharp edge here. If you really feel condemned, so, so you know, if you feel necessary, you can sort of whittle down any edges. Um, now, <clears throat> back to your trigger. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the sear and we're going to reinstall this bad boy. Now, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the line release is fully extended and just line the hole up, grab your freshly polished pin, slide it in, Let's see if we can get this. There we go. And once it's nice and flush, Make sure, and you'll actually see that it's starting to make contact. Now, when you go to install your trigger, again, make sure that your line release is fully extended to keep the sear drop down. And you're going to get the <clears throat> little safety device that we're removing in its entirely, entirety. Right here like this and you're gonna reinstall just make sure that that little nubs down and that this little spring is nice installed in place and make sure that's good to go all right now drop the line release you don't have to worry about this first initial this little spring here just yet um, but you do need to make sure that this little button here comes in contact with the spring and you don't need to put much tension on it but you'll see the hole eventually line up you just want to make sure that sear is dropped all the way and you might have to finagle it a little bit but whoa sear dropped there we go Nope, slid right in. Now, make sure that the spring stayed in place. And, back on. Whoa. Got your trigger pull. Whew. Now, take your, whew. look at that. It actually spits the shaft out. And, whoo. We accidentally bump the safety. Trigger mic still goes in and still fires. QS Tony, polish trigger mechanism, remove safety. You can super glue this bad boy in if you want, but uh, <clears throat> that's that.